Hello, hello, hello. It is Helen and Henry here with you live today to talk about a little tool on Facebook that can really help you in building rapport with people and building relationships with people and help you grow your business but you may not even know it exists. So welcome, welcome, welcome. It is Helen here from HelenMartinOnline.com and this is my little mate Henry here. So um, you are the online crew here. I am your online crew captain with my little kids hat here. <laughs> That's a little bit small. Hello, Tanya, how are you? Are you back in the country? Uh, you've been in one of my favorite places, which is Bali. I haven't been there for a few years. We went there for many years in a row and I, um, yeah, I'm, I'm missing it. So um, yeah, let me know if you're back in the country. Um, for those of you, you know, coming in and saying hello, you're finally back in the country. Awesome. I'm just going to get rid of this filter <laughs> so you can see my eyes. I'm just playing around with filters again. If you go live on um, Facebook, it is a good idea just to play around and see what's available. And, you know, one of the reasons why I mention that is tools. Like there's all sorts of creative things that you can use that is available to you that you may not be using. And filters is one of those things. It's just when you do things that are a little bit different, that, you know, even using a Facebook filter like I just did then, it just, um, you know, it just makes you stand out more than everybody else that's just doing it, you know, the same way. So, you know, filters are good just to throw on at the beginning of the live, not necessarily to be there for the whole live. Um, Tanya, it's fun and you look awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Tanya. Um, so say hello, put some palm trees down below as you are coming in live. Good morning, Rob. How are you at two o'clock in the morning where you are? <laughs> awesome to have you here. Thank you for the palm trees and the coconut. I'm loving the coconut, Rob. I was going to try to look for a little fishy. Can anyone find, um, hey, Robin, how are you going? A little, I reckon there must be a little fish emoji. So um, I was thinking we need a little fish as well. But yeah, palm trees all around me. That's just a, a little um, mascot emoji for this um, page. Oh, it's, sorry, daylight saving, Rob. It's 1am. See, even I've forgotten. Um, daylight saving has just mucked us, all, <laughs> mucked us all around. Oh, Tanya, what have you found? Is that an octopus? An octopus, a fish, and uh, a crab. <laughs> love it, Tanya. That's so cool. Oh, yeah, I love that. Fish, Sandrine. That's a good one. Maybe we'll use the fish. Here's an idea, guys. Who's in my free Facebook group called Social Media Strategies for Home Business Owners? Oh, Rob, you've gone berserk and found a million of them. Hey, Tiffany. If you, okay, here we go, guys. If you are in my free Facebook group, oh, you found some, oh, some shells. Okay, which one do you like the best, guys? We need an emoji for the people in my free Facebook group. So I'm just making this up on the whim. So if you're in my free uh, Facebook group, so we've got the palm tree emoji here, but if you are a member, an online crew member in my free Facebook group called Social Media Strategies um, for Home Business Owners, which emoji should we choose? Either a fish or the shell, something that's fitting. I think it's got to be a fish. Do you guys think it should be a fish for Henry? I reckon it should be a fish. So if you are a member, and uh, yeah, fish, I agree too, Rob. If you are a member an online crew member in my free private Facebook group, you get to put a fish as well as a palm tree. So drop the fishies as well as the... So Brady's um, an online crew member. Who else is an online crew member? Um, so that's members of you know our community <laughs> in my free Facebook group. What I might do is edit the description up above after I finish this live and put the link through to my face free Facebook group. Rob's a member. Love the fishies. Tiffany's a member. That's so cool. Palm tree and a fish. Right, that's it from now on, guys. We're doing a palm tree if you're here on my public page and we're doing fish as well if you're actually an online crew member in my private Facebook group. Now, for you guys, I will get onto the topic of today in a minute, guys. Um, but for you guys in that private Facebook group, don't forget tomorrow I'm popping in there. So that'll be half an hour before I go live. So this time, 
half an hour after I go live, I'm putting a training video only in there uh, for you guys in that private Facebook group about how I create my little, um, you know, videos. So pulling together your photographs, your little videos with a bit of music and some words and stuff like that and just putting really cool little videos together for your social media. So for those of you that have got the fish going on and that you're in that uh, free private Facebook group, that training is going in that group only, not here in that group only for you guys. And I'm going to have a little competition with it. So it's just a bit of fun. If you want to, there is a reward for you guys that make your own little video. And it's not difficult, guys. It's an app on your phone. You literally just grab your photographs and your videos that are already in there, pull it together with a few different options, and you've got your own little cool videos that you can sort of pop up and create some interest. And the beautiful part about that, so this is um, you know, something that you can do to just create a bit of interest, increase your influence online and your social media activity. So it's a really cool thing to do. So that's gonna be in the private Facebook group tomorrow. So there's just a little uh, reminder. And also one last reminder, if you are in my branding course, um, how to build your brand on Facebook uh, tomorrow, um, also, I'm doing the live Zoom call to review all your pages. The pages that you've set up, maybe you've got an existing page that you want me to review and you've tweaked. Maybe you've created a brand new page and you want me to have a look at it as far as your branding and your content creation and all that kind of stuff. That's tomorrow. For those of you in my branding course, um, so watch out for that uh, tomorrow for you guys. Now, let's get back on topic. A little tool that is available to you on Facebook that you may not even know is there. Now, more people are using it. I sometimes forget that it's there, but when I do use it, it always reminds me I should do this more often. So what that is, is it's something in Messenger. So let me put some context to this before I explain what the little tool is. So, and some of you might be well aware of it and already using it, and if you are, awesome job. But if you're not, at least you'll know where to find it and why you should use it. So let's say you're in Messenger and you write somebody a message or somebody's written you a message and you read it and you go, I'm not quite sure what that means. I'm not quite sure whether that means they're pissed off with me or, you know, that's a good thing or whatever. I mean, do you sometimes read things? in messenger or email or just in written format and you're not quite sure of the intention behind it. So if you've ever sort of experienced that before, drop me some palm trees down below. So that often happens. Or you receive a message from somebody or an email, like anything like that, and you've interpreted it the wrong way to what it actually means. And then you go back and forth and back and forth and something just sort of gets a little bit out of control and yet the intention of it in the first place has been blown totally out of proportion. So this, uh, yeah, so some of you have experienced that. So one of the re you know, ways around that and one of the biggest parts of building relationships, particularly building a business on social media when you are not in front of the person physically is to, you know, we, we've, we've got to put, well, I'm not explaining this very well. Take this, the Facebook Live. If I wrote in written format everything that I tell you five days a week on a live, one, would you read it? Probably not because sometimes I talk too long, like yesterday, and that would be too long and you wouldn't absorb it. And then you go, well, I don't really know what she means by that. But by being here live with you, it gives me the opportunity to actually put my spin in things, to give you the emotion behind it, to actually explain things to you. Like last weekend, when we started talking about Facebook, um, you know, marketing myths, and I ended up tears and we're on this whole different tangent talking about, um, you know, personal development mindset type stuff. That would have never happened if I'd written it. So Tiffany's on it. This is why I use the voice messenger message feature instead of writing it out. 
So some of you may be on top of this and if you're using it, I applaud you. Some of you may not even know it's there because you have to click the plus button to even know it's there. So what I'm talking about here is the voice recording option on Messenger. So yesterday I gave you a DMO, Daily Method of Operation. One of those things is to communicate with people and communicate with people meaningfully. How can you communicate with people more meaningfully than just writing something out is by putting your expression and your meaning behind it. So don't use text as a cop-out. Don't use email as a cop-out. Actually let people know the tone of your voice, that you care. So if somebody's shown some interest in your business and it's business related, click the voice recorder and leave them a message going, hey, I'd really love to help you with what I think I've got something that might be able to help you. Just, you know, give me an indication of what it is that you're really looking for and I'll definitely be able to find something that can help you. That is so different and interpreted so differently than just typing that out. Tiffany, the best thing ever in Messenger. Yeah, and it also saves you in business a lot of time. Have you ever gone back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with somebody in Messenger and it's going, it would have been a hell of a lot quicker if we just picked up the bloody phone. <laughs> Excuse my language. But people use Messenger and email and things like that as a cop out. No one talks to anybody anymore. They don't. It's so much easier to flick a text and say, happy birthday then um, actually ring somebody and go, I just wanted to say happy birthday, hope you have an awesome day, that kind of thing. Like you don't have to pick up the phone and ring somebody. You can click the voice recorder and actually say, hey, such and such, I just wanted to wish you a really happy birthday. I hope you have an awesome day, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then, so you don't actually have to have a physical conversation. You don't have to worry about somebody picking up and saying, I really don't have time to talk to them. That's what a lot of people do. Life is busy, really busy. So some people don't ring people or communicate with them via the phone because they think, oh, I really don't have time to get in a lengthy conversation with them. Use the voice recorder and just say, hey, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I'm kicking myself now. See, you gotta practice what you preach and I'm just reminding myself, and this is where I said earlier, I come in and out of it and there's two people this morning that I've said happy birth birthday to via message. I should have done the voice recorder. Because you know what? It makes you stand out. It makes you be different. So it makes somebody feel special going, oh, how cute is that? I often sing happy birthday. Um, so I can do that when somebody doesn't pick up. If I ring somebody from their birthday and they don't actually pick up and it goes to message bank, I'll, I often sing happy birthday if they don't pick up. It's like, hey, I just rang you for your birthday, but you haven't picked up. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I just do that. Some of my friends know that. And then they'll send me a message back and say, I wouldn't be the same without a happy birthday call from you, Helen. But you can do that um, via voice messenger if you're worried about somebody picking up because you don't have the time to get in a conversation with them. So for those of you that are not using it, when you go into Messenger, you actually have to click the plus button for it to even, you know, show up. So if you're thinking, where is this voice recorder thing? You've got to click the plus button next to the Messenger. So normally you go into Messenger and you just type and there's an icon over this side, depending how the screen's looking for you, could be that side, uh, with a little like button. And then there's two icons on the other side, depending which way the screen is looking for you. One of them will be um, like a picture of a picture for you to press on and it goes to your camera roll so you can attach a picture. The one next to that is a picture of the camera. So you push that and it'll just, you know, you can take a picture. And then next to that is a little plus button. So when you click on that plus button, it gives you the icon of a speaker. So you just hold your finger down on it and talk, continue to hold while you're talking. When you release it, it'll send it as a voice message. So if you're not using this feature, start guys. There are so many reasons for this. Even if 
It will help you build your business in relation to actually showing people your your empathy, that you actually care. Remember with business, particularly a home-based business, people will start to care when they know you care. So when you start to care and they go, oh, isn't that sweet? So whenever you get a birthday message come up, um, don't just send them a message, happy birthday. Don't you get a notification when birthdays pop up and it just gives you the option, yeah, write a message. And I've done that twice this morning. Shame on me. I should have actually done this and left them a voice recording. So do that, guys. It's the little things that are going to make you stand out. And this feature is amazing, not only for business messages, reaching out to people, but using your voice and your, you know, the tonality of, of what you're saying. You can't do that in written format. And often people will interpret what you've written. So when you say it in voice, you can come across so much better, even when you're trying to say something that is not necessarily positive. So it's really good for, say, for something like, so say you don't want to have a conversation with someone you're too scared to, but you've had a misunderstanding. Use the voice recorder and go, hey, such and such. I think we've had a major misunderstanding and it's not sitting really well with me. I really want to clear the air here. Um, you know, if you're open to it, can we please have a conversation? You know, whatever it is. But the way I'm saying it makes the person understand that um, I am genuine. It's just not words on the end of it where I'm trying to pitch you something. I'm trying to send you a message to get you interested in my business or something's gone wrong and you're having some back and forth, but it's being interpreted totally the different way. Um, that's the danger of just writing things. And if I'm making sense, please put some, you know, palm trees down below. If you are an online crew member in my free Facebook group, put the palm tree and the fishy down. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Holly, hello, Holly. Lovely to see you on live. They can hear the excitement in your voice. It's a great tool. Yeah. So I can write, as I have done twice this morning, you idiot, Helen. Happy birthday with some emojis, which is still cool. And, you know, they can respond and say, you know, thanks very much. Or I could take two seconds longer or, you know, a, a, a few seconds longer instead of typing it, just pushing the button and going, hey, whatever, I just wanted to wish you a really happy birthday. I hope you have the most awesome day ever and it's a really, you know, fabulous birthday to remember. So have a good day. I'll catch you soon. Bye. Is that not going to make me stand out versus everybody else that just does a written cop-out message on Facebook going happy birthday? If you want to build a business on social media, use the tools that are in front of you guys and stand out. It takes no extra effort for you to use the voice recording option in Messenger than actually taking the time to write a message. But it makes an impact. And on the other side of it, even if it's a happy birthday message, somebody's going, oh, isn't that cute? And they'll just probably respond and go, thanks so much. But they're going to remember you. You're going to stand out. If you want to build a business on social media and stand out from the crowd, do things that not everybody is doing. Why do you want to do Facebook Live? Because not everybody is doing it because most people are scared to. Why would you use the voice recorder? Because some people don't even know the feature even exists in Messenger because they've never clicked the plus button to play around with Messenger to see what's available to us. So, you know, Messenger's an awesome tool. In the home-based business, some people do a three-way chat on Messenger instead. Um, there's quite a few companies that this is their strategy, and I think it's awesome, and many more people should adopt this. So rather than doing a three-way call where you've got three people sort of speaking to each other, you can connect a couple of people on Messenger and use it that way. You can leave voice recordings in the Messenger, but people can um, you know, answer in their own time. You don't have to wait you know, a week to get three people connected because, oh, I can't then and I can't then and I can't then. People can hear your voice when it's convenient to, you know, there's so many different ways you can use one, Messenger, and two, um, you know, the voice recording feature. So if you want to build your business faster, if you are connecting with people via social media and you are connecting people via the tool of Messenger, just go one step further 
and make the effort to actually leave voice recording messages instead of written messages. It will make you stand out. You can get your intention across a hell of a lot easier. So words in the written form versus words that are coming out of your mouth with intention and emotion and care and empathy and all of that kind of stuff is so, 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 so important in the home-based business space when you need to get across to people that you care about them before you care about the sale. Is that not important, guys? Emojis down below, palm trees and fishies. <laughs> How important is that to you and your business? Because I'll say it again, I just said it before, when people know you care, they will start to care about you, what it is you're up to, and what you have to offer. And sometimes in a written message, you can't really get it across how much you actually care about them, their well-being, their health, their whatever it is, um, you know, in the written form. So I encourage you, if you are not using this, to use it. If you are using it, but you use it on and off, use it more. And really, um, you know, you don't want to use the voice recorder and be really bland with your, you know, how you're saying something. Oh, you know, Tiffany, I just wanted to connect to let you know that we've got this special going on and I think it'd be really cool for you and it's $50 off and it's only for the next couple of days. So, um, you know, if you if you want some, you know, just just sort of let me know. <laughs> We're not going to use the voice recorder option in that manner. We're going to use it in a way to let people know, remember, it's all about the other person, not about you. And it's all about the benefits of whatever it is that you're promoting, selling, or the rest of it. Not, so go back to last week's video that I said, how do we actually talk about our product without talking about the product? You focus on the benefits of the product, not the benefit it, itself. Go back to that video last week to work out what you say but how you actually get the message across. And if you are connecting with somebody that you haven't connected with for ages. So let's say you do want to do a bit of active promotion and that you want to reach out to somebody that you haven't spoken to for a couple of years. Definitely do it via the voice recorder. Don't send somebody a message which they're going, oh, that's out of the blue. It's much easier for people to ignore you on a written message than it is a voice message. So they may not respond via voice message because one, they might not know how to use it or two, they're just not at that point yet. Completely fine. There are people that I'll do a voice recording with and they only respond via written. I'll still leave, if we go back and forth, I'll still leave a voice recording. And you know what? If you are a busy person, it actually saves you a lot of time. By just pushing the button, you might be walking around doing something else and you can just leave a voice recording while you're doing something else. You're walking somewhere, you're doing something. You're not stopping your life to type out a message. So the voice recorder is not only as efficient as far as letting people know you care, standing out from the crowd, um, in increasing your influence, all that kind of stuff. It's actually more effective for your use of time. What do you think, guys? Do you think that, oh, thanks for the fishy, Tanya. Do you think that's a good idea? Do you think that's something that you, if you're not using it, you can, or if you are using it, you can use it more? Put the word yes down below if you think that might be an effective tool for you. So sometimes, guys, it's not the latest um, trick. It's not the latest online strategy. It's not the latest social media platform. It's using what you've got at your fingertips to your advantage, but it's all about communication, especially in, hey, Brady, I don't think I, did I say hello to you before? I didn't know you were on. Um, yeah, great idea, dear, going to use it more. Vivi, yes. Jennifer, hello. As always, Jennifer, I'm about to finish my live and you pop on and say hello. <laughs> I think you timed that deliberately. No, I'm only joking. So, you know, it's not always the, you know, something that somebody knows or the latest, you know, strategy. It's about the little things. And especially in the online world and building your business online, it's all about communication and all about how your communication is interpreted. Um, so the voice recording sort of um, 
you know, feature can really, really help um, you emphasize um, that you care, what you've got to offer. Remember, it's not about the sale. It's not about what you can get out of it. It's what you can help somebody else with. And, uh, you know, I'll say for the third time, if not the fifth time, when you show people you care, they'll start to care. When you, um, you know, sing somebody happy birthday on a voice recording and you're just being silly, they'll remember that. They will remember that. So you want to be in the front of people's minds, particularly on social media. Jennifer, oh my goodness, I'm always a day late and a dollar short. <laughs> That's so cool. We'll watch the replay. You do that, Jennifer. Um, it's awesome to see you on live for you know a second. And Rob, it's all about the personal touch. And we when we talk about you know the home based business space, you have the same products as everybody else in your company. You ha you don't you don't have anything different to offer. You don't have any prices that you can discount. You're not in control of any of that. You have control over Jack when you are attached to a network marketing company. What can you do differently? Be you. What can you do differently? Stand out from everyone else. How can you do that? Sing happy birthday to somebody on a voice recording rather than just sending a message like I did this morning for two people. Shame on me. Teaching myself my own lesson. But as I said before, I come in and out of it because I just forget it's there. So, you know, use it to your advantage because it makes you stand out. And when you stand out and you give value and people remember you, they'll keep coming back to your Facebook page. When you post something on social media, they're more likely to comment because you stand out. You sang happy birthday to somebody on a voice recorder and they're like, oh, that's so cute. Helen's so cool. And then when you post something on social media, they're more likely to comment back because you made the effort to sing them happy birthday. They're going to make the effort to comment on your stuff and look at your stuff rather than skim past your stuff. It's small stuff, guys, but it can make a really big difference when you just take that extra effort to show somebody you care. Okay, Bibi. How do you make a short, effective voice recorder on a potential prospect, though? Depends what you're talking about, Vivi. That's, that's a really open-ended question. But the, the, um, it depends whether you've started the conversation or you're following up a conversation. I mean something that will effectively... I trod ice what I do. <laughs> I think we've got some typos going on there. Uh, Vivi, I'm not quite sure what you mean. I know you've jumped on this video late. So go back to the beginning of, um, so I'll be finished in a minute. Go back to the beginning of the video, listen to all of it. And then if you've still got some questions, um, you can still pop them in the feed of this um, you know, video and then I'll answer them for you. So just go back to the beginning of the video and watch the replay. And then if you've still got questions, put them in the comment section below and I'll answer them for you later, okay? So thanks guys for being on. I hope that, um, you know, just gives you a little bit of insight as to how to use it and, you know, how you can effectively adopt it in your business and just in life in general, guys. Don't always think about business. You want to adopt these social media strategies in, in, in your life in general. Um, okay, we'll do. So thanks for being on with me live, guys. I will see you at the same time tomorrow, same place. So I'll look forward to seeing you then. Bye.